Hi, it's Tampa Tech, and if you got a PC that's doing this, where you get lines on the screen, but you're able to uh, move the mouse around like so, see how I'm able to move the mouse around? Most likely that is your video card connection or your bad video card. This computer I have is about 10 years old, and I opened it up for you guys. So I opened up my PC, my PC is about 10 years old, and this is a custom PC, by the way. It's not an HP or a Dell or anything. Um, you want to make sure this video card is secure. Plug push down very securely. If it's still bad, you want to. Um, if it's 10 years old, most likely your video card is bad, and you get a new one for like 30 or 40 bucks, or pull one out of a bad computer that didn't have that problem with the. You know, sometimes computers could have just a bad hard drive. Um, but if it's getting lines lines on the screen or some kind of like graphic issue, video issue, then most likely it's your video card or video card connection or your PC monitor. All right. And so uh, basically, what you want to do is swap it out with another video card, and you get them for like 40 bucks all day long. I want to show you also a note that some computer um, computers have a latch. You pull this out and then pull this down and then pull it up. All right. And then put it back in like that. And then should push it straight in like you want to screw this right here. Screw that. And this slip right here. And pull that out. See? And that comes off like that. Put it back on. Make sure it lines up with the holes. These hooks, I'm saying. Now, after you um, boot it down and unplug the power cord from the back right here, what you want to do is untwist this, untwist that, and then wiggle that off. Okay? And if it has a screw right here, you want to take that screw off. I already took it off. All right. And just wiggle that off right there. Sometimes there's a little latch right here. You have to push down the latch or lift up. And then you can take that off. All right. This is the bad one. All right. And uh, this chip right here. You don't know. I don't know really what's bad on here. I know it's 10 years old, but um, it could be this chip, or you could just replace the chip and it'll work. Who knows? Um, or you could um, take the chip out and reseat it. Sometimes it's like a loose connection. The heat sometimes pushes the chip out of the socket. But I already tried that and didn't work. So uh, I think whatever is wrong in here is more than uh, what I can do fix. This is too uh, tedious work to fix this. So I grabbed another one right here. If you guys are wondering like, what the heck is going on with why do you have like <laughs> joystick knobs? Well this is my PC arcade I was building and I, I rebuilt it but my video board went bad. So this is the bad one and this is the good one. Well this one I got from an old computer that had a hard drive problem and I didn't want to replace the hard drive so I took the video card out that I knew was good and uh, has the same connections see how the connections are about the same see how these connections line up and they're the same I want to make sure that is the same connection and then you just put it in the same spot make sure you do not plug in the power at all So you push it in, make sure it goes in flush, like that. You don't see, like that. It has to go in evenly, flush. And sometimes there's a latch right down there. Make sure the latch is hooked on. In this case, there's no latch on this one. And then it should line up right there. Screw in right here. Right there. Just put it in snug. Don't over tighten it. And then next, plug that in. And sometimes you don't need the software disk for this card. It, it'll boot right up, I'll show you. But if you have the software disk, put the card in. And then after you turn on your computer, put the disk in. And then install the, 
the software, the disk, if you have it available. If you don't have it available, it would probably still work and you can get the software online at a website, the manufacturer website. And then lastly, let's go ahead and plug in the power. Right there. Let's push it back in. And then you just slide it on. And then you put the screws in the back. But in this case, I'm not going to put the screws in yet because I don't know if it's going to work. So hit, turn it on. Make sure the fans turn on, the lights turn on. You should get a screen. And it should be clean looking. So far, so good. Now everything is working. Video card's working excellent. PC's working good. The controls are working. We got. And lol's good. Everything's good. Get that mouse out of the way. This battle is about to explode. Okay. So that's it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe to Tampa Tech. And if you want to know what this game is, it's called M U G E N Mugen. And uh, you could just Google it. There's a whole bunch of YouTube videos how to how to install it.